Hey folks, ghouls creep and crawl at night, eating everything in sight. In a snap, they'll eat you too, chop you up for a ghoulish stew. Children's Rhyme Ghouls and graviers are hard to describe. In part, they resemble humans. Yet, on the whole, they are the utter negation of all that is human. Although they have arms and legs like men, they walk on all fours like dogs and ba are badgers. Again, no acknowledgement of the previous iteration where they were humanoid. Where they were upright. They would stand up like a human. They would fight. Bipedal. Though they have eerily fam fam familiar faces, one searches them in vain for any sign of senti uh, sentiment, reason, or even a spark of consciousness. They are driven by one thing and one thing only, insatiable with craving for human flesh. Ghouls and their more dangerous cousins, Graviers, usually feed in small groups, at uh, times led by an owl ghoul. Uh, since they delight most in the taste of fresh carcasses, they appear wherever newly dug graves are to be found, cemeteries, crypts, catacombs, and battlefields. Whenever the opportunity arises, they hunt the living as well, especially when they strength numbers. In a one-on-one -on -one fight with a trained witcher, a ghoul possesses little threat, but one must remember that wounded individuals can erupt in a mad frenzy. At times they attack fiercely, paying no heed to their own safety and brushing off all wounds. One must likewise bear in mind that ghouls and graviers are particularly dangerous at dusk, and at night. Weak to necrophage oil as one would expect. Up next, grave hags. <laughs>